Hello my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess. This is your weekly love tarot reading. So we'll see what comes up for you. We're going to look at the past, present and future around a particular relationship. Pull some cards for you and your person and see how we go. So let's go. What can we get for you Capricorn? Just going to shuffle it one more time. What tarot card meanings can we get for you today? Let's see. For the past, we have the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles for the present, the Hanged Man, and for the future, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords and the Tower. Whoa, okay, so big change coming up. And at the base of the deck we have the Two of Wands. Um, I should mention, Capricorn, that this is a love reading. It is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. And if it does resonate, there will be an extended. The link is in the description box below and we'll look further about how your person feels about you and we'll delve into that a bit more deeper so i'm just going to pull some cards for you and your person from the animal spirit deck and find out what animal spirit energy is around the two of you at this moment in time so let's pull a card for capricorn okay two cards have come out Okay, we have for you spider and for your person panther. Now you can always reverse that Capricorn. You can always reverse that if you think feel like your panther and the other person is spider. So let's pull a message from the angels to start off the reading and we have if you believe. Okay, so this might be a question of faith even to believe that something might be truly happening or something could really happen. So it's testing your ability to believe that, that something is able to happen here. So I also wanted to pull a card for you uh, from this new deck that I've got called The Journey of Love. So I'm just going to pull, oh, we've got The Pearl Threaded. This is only a new deck for me. How beautiful is that, Capricorn? So I'm just going to have a look at it. Number 38. And that adds up to a 11, doesn't it? <laughs> My maths is just no good. So that is a powerful uh, master number. So let's look at the pearl unthreaded. It says... Okay, this oracle brings you a message. You are to shift your perspective to allow all groups that you are involved in to become a source of energetic lifting rather than depletion. If a group you are involved in cannot do this for you, then you may not be in vibrational resonance and it may be time to seek a group that is more energetically supportive of your vibration. Trust your feelings and don't be scared to open up and allow yourself to connect with others. That way you can truly know if a group or gathering is for you or if you need to move on. But do trust that you are not alone on your journey and the soul connections will draw you to them like strands of pearls on the Divine Mother's necklace. And there's a lovely poem that says, Hearts apart, remember love and time stands still. So there you go, Capricorn. There, that might make a lot of sense with this tower energy coming up as well. So let's get started, shall we? Let's look at the cards that we've pulled. So we've got here spider and panther. So I feel like you're trying to create something here. You're actually um, trying to make something quite beautiful. It's quite, quite intricate. But, uh, you know, it is sensitive to your environment around you. There is things, you know, the smallest thing that comes into your environment you're very aware of and this person's coming in not very sensitively. They're coming in loud and clear like the panther just going Aah! in trying to kind of almost, they're almost scary, like um, almost like they're trying to scare you or trying to get your attention. They, I, I get that they're not so happy with what it is that you're creating or what your, the connections that you might be having with the world. So this panther energy can be another person, can also be um, an aspect of yourself even or just an external energy. I, I, it, I'm not necessarily getting that it's necessarily a person or 
for all of you, Capricorn. But yeah, it makes a lot of sense with um, the card that we just got about the connections, the right connections. And this is will come to you in, when you're in the right place and with the right people. And this person doesn't feel like they're kind of the right connection to you. You can see all these beautiful connections you're making here with your spider web. And then there's just this like <sighs> energy. And it's like, uh, there's a big question mark around this person, whether they're the right person to have in your life at this moment in time and to be connecting with now. So it doesn't necessarily, I know this is a love reading, but it's sort of love and relationship. And I'm not necessarily sure for some of you, there is romance. This is a partnership, a romantic partnership. And it just, there's a real sense that, but it doesn't have to necessarily be so. This could be a work friend or a family and there is a sense that they just don't understand you, that you're on totally different pages. You know, you're the element of earth coming in with a spider and they're presenting as a fire energy, earth and fire scalds earth when it's too hot. And so it just feels like their presence, their words, everything about them is just too hot. It's hurting. It could has the potential to hurt you. So let's look at the recent past around what's happening with this relationship or this energy that's here. We've got the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So, look, I do feel like there was an attempt to make something here, to build something together. And, you know, it was it was very much like maybe you were both on, I don't want to say the same page, even though we had the page. It feels like you're both committed to it or both trying, but you're both coming at it from very different angles. One person's a page, one person's a knight. So, again, we have like an air element and a fire energy energy. I feel like the other person's the knight of wands. I feel like they're just charging. Let's just do it. Um, but it can be you as well. It's just someone wants to impetuous. Just let's just do it. Let's just get this done. Let's just, you know, move forward with this. It's sort of looking without, um, jumping without looking kind of energy. Whereas the, you're kind of coming across more as the page of swords as let's get some Get, let's get some more information, let's learn, make sure we've got all the right skills. It was very much a case of just needing to kind of feeling like you wanted to find, yeah, you wanted to look before you leapt. You wanted to know exactly what it is that you're moving into here, whereas they were just like, bang, let's go straight into it. And so, yeah, I feel like you were kind of on the same path you were trying to get to this destination, which is, is the four of wands, which is, you know, a happy home. This can be a marriage for some of you. Um, but it's building a lovely, solid foundation. If it's a workplace, it's a very creative, stable place. Uh, but, yeah, so I think, it you know, it started off okay. It started off pretty good. But we have here, um, so the connection was good. But that's okay. It's fine to be different. But is the difference too big now? And that's the big question that's being presented. So let's look at the present energy. We have the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles. I'm trying to hold these all up together at once for you, Capricorn. And the Hanged Man. So there is a sense that I feel like the it, the differences are starting to get kind of a bit too... There's too much of a divide here, uh, seeing things from a very different perspective. One person might be even trying to lay down the law, like these are the rules and this is how I live and this is a wanting commitment as well with the hierophant and the other person's kind of like, well, I don't know if I necessarily want to commit here because I'm seeing it from a different perspective and also there could be delaying, there could be a sense of stalling, not wanting to move forward into this. So there is a sense that you kind of um, might be happier on your own at this moment in time, like both of you, the fact you've got that nine of pentacles in the middle. And it could be related to money as well, um, having financial independence. But there is a sense that um, there's there's a stagnation, there's a stalling. It's kind of reached an impasse where it's reached a point where it, it can't move forward. And then we have, oh, it can, but it's kind of like, do you want to, someone's, you're just so different in the way, like your moral outlook, your authenticity, your honesty, the way you present in the world. There's, a, there's big fundamental differences that are coming in here. So <clears throat> we have as the near future, 
the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords and the Tower card. So it feels like actually this is that, you know, it could look, these cards, if you put them together, could seem quite negative, but I'm actually getting quite a positive energy from this. With the Eight of Swords, it's like neither of you or one, it could be both of you or neither of one of you can't see that things have to change here. And the thing is that it is almost over. This conflict, this struggle that you have with this other person, there is actually going to be a positive outcome here if things get shaken up like the tower, you know, building things properly. The tower comes in and shakes the foundations, things that how the energies that were not built on stable foundations. And if a house is not built on a stable foundation with the blow, a gust of wind or any kind of challenge, it will fall over. And this was exactly what you were trying to do here with this four of wands, build those foundations. But because you kind of found this conflict, it's like, uh, you know, it's like you never really, it, it feels like it's something in the distance now, what you were trying to originally create. And so there is and that's why I think you're getting the if you believe card from the angels because it might seem like everything's crazy and chaotic and they're about to kind of split into different directions and it's not going to work. And there is an energy that it can work here, but it is requiring, like I said, the tower energy to come in and shake up what wasn't working, what wasn't for not only you, but your other person's highest good as well. So I feel like you're just both so fundamentally different in that you're kind of inadvertently working to, against each other, but it's like you're not necessarily, it's like two magnets I'm being shown now, you know, the magnets where that you put them together and they repel. They just can't kind of be in the same place. So there is something about that, that um, whatever this tower energy is, this could bring you closer together. It could also separate you. It's kind of just got that energy of that's what can happen. And we'll look at that in the extended reading uh, and see, look further into the future and see how your person's feeling about you because I feel like there's, with this energy that's coming in, there's a lot of um, opportunity for, uh, confusion, for miscommunication, for misunderstandings here, which I actually get is not actually kind of, con it's not from any kind of malicious or someone trying to hurt each other. It's just from differences. So, and this is why the overall energy, we have the two of wands coming up here. This is a sense of, you know, there's a partnership here, but is there a decision to be made to take one up and leave another one behind? Or has that decision already been made? And that's kind of the overhanging question of the whole reading, really. So I hope that makes sense, Capricorn. Uh, we are going to look at this in more detail, like I said, in the extended reading. So if you want to come over and we'll look at it, the future and where this is going and how your person really feels about you, the link is in the description box below. If this is not, if this is where we're leaving you, I'm just going to leave you with this little message, if you believe. And, you know, that's why it's, this card always comes in when the challenge comes up and, yeah, I understand why with this energy that's come through here. So if please like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, if this is resonating for you, Capricorn, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.